Dear students, it is the third clip and it's about when to use active voice. In the previous discussion, we covered that how active verbs are used to deploy the correct concept and rather than using the other words we must prefer active forms this discussion active voice basically is another flavor of the active form the concept of active voice means that when subject activity is connected with the active verb that become active voice normally where we want to prefer that the person doing an activity mean we want to emphasize the importance or highlight the importance of subject and actor or doer or performer there we use active voice fine and active voice is necessary to express again the same concept that the activity starting from the subject should be communicated properly let's read at least during your undergraduate studies the nature of your writing assignments generally favors the active voice because you usually write about general interests topics to educate lay people and other scientists or engineers in reader friendly fashion in general a sentence that opens with a concrete simple subject followed by an active verb will serve you well mean you must understand in general a sentence that opens with a concrete simple subject followed by an active verb simple subject and active verb that we have discussed will serve you well the rest of the sentences can reveal the new and often necessarily wordy information I mean for concise and precise we need to be use active voice fine and active information is always direct to the point factual and this here are some of the common uh, questions we can deal generally use active voice in the topic sentence and in the opening sentences of paragraph means where you are going to write compose draft your paragraph your topic sentences you understand this uh, the main idea and the opening sentences of the paragraphs must be clear in active voice let's for example crystal rocks contain an interesting historical record record crystal rocks contain look at this crystal rocks is the subject contain an interesting historical record first they reveal fine this sentence going on so you find out crystal rocks contain active voice clear and first they reveal active verb they mean crystal rocks clear so it means that when you are using topic sentences and opening sentences of the paragraph much better they should be used in the with the active verbs in active voice batteries inductors and capacitors provide provide electrical energy storage battery inductors provide provide electrical energy storage this information is in active voice that you are highlighting the direct function of these things fine next when referring to another author's work or introducing a figure or table it is often stylish and interpretative to put the author's name or the figure of the table right into the subject of the sentence 
then follow it with an active and literally correct verb. I mean when you are writing captions and other things, there you have to put. Floodman explains. Floodman explains how the relative brightness of the objects depends on the viewer's angle of observation. Fine. Floodman explains. Floodman explains. Here it is the finding. Here it is the contribution of Floodman. All this line is the contribution of the Floodman. So it has been put in active voice with direct warp. Figure 2 illustrates how fractal geometry can be used to create realistic landscapes. Figure 2 illustrates. Figure 2 illustrates. So this word illustrate is in active and active voice direct verb and it more graphically more uh, lucid to express the function of the figure two here it is given this is uh, the following excerpt from a metrolo metrology paper demonstrate how admirable and efficient that active voice can be I mean the given excerpt mean a piece of writing from a paper and he has used the active tense to express the nature of functions figure 4 depicts a smoke ring in which the layers of troid vortex ring are visible as the picture shows the smoke ring moves away from its sources and trails smoke from its center the trail of smokes behind the moving smoke ring indicate that same viscous stress that caused the smoke ring to form fine when you read all this mean they have used very powerful verbs active uh, mood and that's how the concept has been launched more accurately and clear and here clearly this is a paragraph that the writer toiled over fine thanks to the clear transition and sensible use of the active voice I mean he has used sensible active voice to transport the concepts uh, properly clear Here it reads, one cautionary note, though even though you are generally allowed to use I or V in papers written largely in the active voice, you must be aware of overuse. I mean, he says that although I and U or V are mostly applied with the active voice, but they should not be overused. I mean, in your final project report, you shouldn't uh, repeat these words and I have done this and I paste this button and I downloaded this and I did this this repetition of I and I and I is not a healthy discussion for instance I for instance the word apparently can do same job as I believe that the word however is much better than as I turn to another way of thinking about it fine so these all the discussions let me recap the discussion that in this discussion we have covered that active voice is much better a way to express the scientific functions and writings fine it clearly illustrates the figures diagrams and other things and although i and we are used frequently with this subject uh, but repetition of I and U is heavily clumsy and forbidden. Thank you very much.